everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do day to night party hair. Now we all know what it's like, you've got your Christmas party, your Christmas meal, you're stuck at work all day and your first thought is, oh my god, my hair, what the hell am I going to do with it? I'm going to show you a really quick and easy updo that doesn't require much effort. It requires a few products but you can literally just shove these in your bag during the day and you're good to go. So let's get going. So the first thing you want to do is grab some dry shampoo. Here I've got the dry shampoo original and I've actually got the mini version of this which is so handy for a day at work. You can literally just put this in your bag, it weighs nothing and it's so small. So this is really handy for this kind of look. So you just want to spray this through the roots and just underneath just to freshen up that hair. Been at work all day, you don't really kind of fancy leaving it as it is. Next you want to give your hair a little bit of texture if you've been at work all day, it can kind of feel a bit limp and lifeless and the best way for texture is sea salt spray. This one is the Beach Babe Sea Salt Spray by the Lee Stafford range and I'm absolutely loving this product. I love sea salt spray. So what you want to do is just spray that through the ends of your hair and just kind of gently scrunch it up as well and that will just give you loads of like texture and grip so you can kind of do this updo really easily. As you can see, just spraying that with some sea salt spray has already given my hair so much texture so that's brilliant for this look. Next up, you want to grab a backcombing brush. This one, of course, is from the Lee Stafford range. And this is a really good one because it's got kind of two sets of bristles, so it really gets in there. Now, of course, we don't want to do too crazy in the backcombing because we probably don't have much time before the party. So you just want to grab these sections here and just gently give them a nice little backcomb with your brush and kind of let them hang down. And then just the same with this side as well. And then you just don't want to do the back section as well, just to give your hair a bit of volume. And there we go, that is that done. So next up, you want a bubble on your wrist ready to go. And you want to literally pull all your hair back as if you're putting it in a ponytail. You can kind of smooth over any sections with your back combing brush, that's fine to use that. Just kind of smooth that down a little bit. Of course, you can bring another brush with you and bring your polishing brush to work. Depends how big your bag is for work, actually. So just gonna smooth all of those areas down. And then because this is going to be an updo, if you want to pull any bits of hair out around the face, do that now before you tie it because you don't want to pull the rest of the updo out. So I like to kind of have a few hangy down bits. So once you have the ponytail here, I'm just going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. You want to put your bobble round and actually put this in a ponytail. Like so. There we go. Next up, you want to make a hole in the back. So you want to make a hole in the ponytail just above the bobble like so and just stretch that open a little bit then you want to tuck all of the ponytail round and back through that hole so you're basically tucking this ponytail in but don't pull the ponytail out the other end because we want this nice kind of bun effect so kind of pull it out a little bit if you've got long hair like mine it's also a really good look if you've got short hair because you can kind of tuck it in and make it look a lot longer than what it actually is just keep going and don't worry, we are going to grip this at the end, so if any bits come out, don't worry. You want to just grab these grips and just kind of feel around. You don't really need a mirror. So just stab those kind of in the bun and then pop them back up into the bun and that will just keep them secure. And you can obviously use as many grips as you want. There's no limit. As long as you can't see them, it really doesn't matter. So you don't have to be too precious with this. You can kind of play around, just tuck bits in. So once you're happy with the general shape of your bun, you can also pop in a nice little hair accessory. I've got this one which is just from the high street. You can pick these up pretty much everywhere now. And I'm just going to slide this over the top of my bun, which kind of helps conceal any clips and stuff that you might have as well. So, and it also gives it a really nice kind of vintage-y effect. Obviously then I want to spritz some hairspray. This one is the Hold Tight Firm Hold Barnet Hairspray from the Lee Stafford range and this will just keep your hair put all night. So that is the last you need to worry about your hair. So there you go guys, as you can see that was super quick and easy and it's so easy to do just after work, before your party. You don't need any hair stress, so don't worry, this will stay put all night and you'll feel as glam as you would if you had hours to get ready. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up below and leave your comments, we'd love to read what you think of this party look. 
Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. All our links can be found below. And of course subscribe to this channel because we upload so many hair videos. This is not the only one. There will be loads of hairstyles and hair tutorials and things like that. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye!